proud of that. Oh, nice heat shrink. So that's done. I want to insulate this, but the only trouble is it's got to be sort of open, but I wanted to put heat shrink around it. But it'll make it a lot tidier if I did. And the cables wouldn't start bloody falling out like they usually do. Anyway, I'm proud of that. <laughs> uh, the cells, I left them the other day, this is about four days ago, I left them at five millivolt difference and they're still sat at five millivolts difference. So I'm proud of them, proud of them. I'm happy with that. Everything's working perfectly. I've got the Sabaton mount on, uh, it's printed right, it's nearly how I wanted it, <laughs> it's fine. If I can turn that upside down, you can see that it sits on the tube nicely. Uh, those cable ties are just there, just to keep it in place until the adhesive sets and then it ain't coming off. So there's the cables, they go through there, comes out here, so I've got to do, I'm not putting any protection around there because I don't want to. It's going to be fine. So I've got the power cables to put through there which are going to be, what are they, 8 AWG? I've been doing boring stuff like putting connectors and things. Uh, these are the phase wires and as you can see they're rather thin and these are the ones that are going to go to the controller. As you can see they're a lot thicker. I've doubled them up purely because I wanted to. There's no other reason. Uh, they're going to handle the power perfectly. Quite ample. These aren't. They're going to set on fire. These are the whole sense wires, which I've got. I've still got to wire up. I'm going to. I think I'll put a connector on them of some kind, and I don't know what. What is it? One, two. Should be six, shouldn't it? One, two, five. Oh, there's no temperature. Hey ho, don't need it. This is the piece, this is my extension piece that I've designed and 3D printed. That, that's going to go on the back. I've had to feed that wire through there because that's where it's going. And I've had to put a connector on the end and it would be stupid if I'd done, done it and not fed it through there. Know what I mean? I'm still waiting for my torque arms to turn up from Croatia. They're, they're stuck at Langley, which is... Airport? Is it? Oh, for <laughs> sake, you f I know you can't see it. There it is. There's the wheel. I can't tilt this too much because it falls off. Anyway, here's the phase wire. The phase wire's going to run in the middle there. And these, these come up to the front. I'm quite annoyed, really, that I can't fit that wheel on. I could. Actually, yeah, I'm going to cut that out. Because I know all I'm going to need is that, yeah, I'm going to do that. Not 10 minutes ago was I talking about, I've put this hole in here and I've fed the wires through before. Has anyone noticed what's missing off here? Between there and there. It won't go through there, <laughs> so I've got to take them off again. <laughs> Excuse the mess, this is what happens when Tony gets to work. This is the button, these, these are the handlebars which have been detached, obviously I've had to detach them. This is the power button, if I hold it on, that fires the BMS up, which should fire the Sabaton up. Right, this is the first time the throttle's wired up, the brake isn't at the minute, the throttle goes to, obviously the throttle, um, what's that one for? That one's for the power to the BMS button, the power button, hang on, in the app, should connect, okay, so I can Turn all the power off, that should go off, right that's working, turn that on, put that back to the main screen, 
Now, if I've got all the settings right from the first time, that wheel might not move because the phase wires may be out of phase and I may have to switch them around. But oh my god. I don't believe it. I haven't I haven't done any haul. I've done no haul angle test and the the regen comes on as well because it's showing regen. Yeah, I just about picked it up then. So regen's working. That's working. It's working. What I've got to do now is go into the Sabaton settings and I've got to do a haul angle test just to make damn sure everything's right. I'm still waiting for the, the torque arms, this is only just bolted on, on on this side. I'm waiting for the torque arms to, arms to come in, they should be in this weekend. I've still got all the front end to redo because I've got the handlebars here, I've still got the, the brakes got to be done. Wow! First time! <laughs> yeah, I had to video that because in case anything goes wrong, you can see the mess in here. Yeah, it's it's total absolute mess. But it looks like I've got the phase, uh, the phase wires are correct. The hall sense wires are all correct. Uh, that one's the e-brake, which I've got to wire up to the brake because I'll only have a back brake. Now before anyone says it, I saw a high performance scooter that's come out on the market that ever well not everyone, loads of people are using them around London and God knows where and it hasn't got any brakes, it's literally got regen, that's it. So I'm going to try it and see if we can get away with it. That's for the temperature sensor which I don't need because as I remember rightly in the Sabaton I turned that off on my old one. That's probably why it works actually. I was a bit worried that that's not wired up and it would start complaining. But I did turn it off, I remember, in the last one, so but I used that controller on. I'll try and get this on in camera. I've got my laptop plugged into the Sabaton and there's the back wheel there. That's the back and this is the front. You wouldn't know it. And here's the throttle. There's the brake. Now the brake obviously has got no brake cable attached to it because it doesn't need it. So, if I open this up, and then I very slowly ease the brake, or if I pull the brake on full, it stops. So it's set to 10 amps at the minute, so it's a 10 amp brake. Uh, I'm going to set, when I've set this, I'm going to set regen up so as it will slowly slow me down, and this will be used in an emergency. So it is actually adjustable. So that's a slow brake if I have it half. And then a sudden brake if I pull it all the way. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to strengthen the spring on this because it's a bit... Now there's nothing pulling against it, it's rather weak, so I'm going to dismantle it and, and tighten the spring up a bit, I think. And I know somebody's going to point something out. Because I've got 10-inch wheels, I've still got the original stand on. But because the deck's raised now, that ain't going to stand on that stand. So I need to get an extender just to drop the stand down a bit so as it'll stand up. I know someone's going to bloody point that out. They've finally arrived, the last bits that I need, which are the torque arms, or I don't know if you call them torque arms, basically the mounting points. Uh, because the wheel on the back will say that the dropouts um, are that wide, because the motor hasn't got enough to actually overlap the dropouts, so you can't get it in, these are inserts that you put on the inside, and then they act as torque arms. Uh, that goes that side, that goes that side, and then these are extended bolts, nuts, these are nuts Tony, not bolts, nuts, these are nuts. They go in there, which bolt into the axle, so 
I've just thought I've got to take. Oh. That means I've got to take the bloody. Oh, of course I have, you stupid idiot. I've got to take all the the the, the phase wires connections off again, haven't I? These come from Croatia. Can't remember how much I paid for them, but I'm going to put a link in the description because no doubt there's going to be a few people who want these actually doing. It took. Uh, I think two days to get to the UK and the rest of it he just sat in, I presume it was customs, I don't know why, it's European. So I'm going to fit these in place of the ones that are fitted at the minute. Right, you can see how I had this for testing, literally that axle ain't attached, uh, it's just that side. So you can see how important it was to actually get this thing fitted right. Oh yeah, I've got a slot in there because I wanted to. I've got to take these off. These things obviously will only fit one side. That goes in there. Hang on. Found them. These are the original ones which sat on the inserts in there. That goes there. You can't just cut a slot in these like I've done on this because these bolts have got to go through. Obviously I've still got to do all the cutting out, but... And it looks like I'll have to add... You can't really see if I move that. Like that, you can see I've still got to add some spaces. So I think I'm just actually. I wonder if it's designed. I bet it's designed to do that, isn't it? They are the torque. Yeah, they're the torque washers. Yeah, that's it. So they're the, the basically these are the torque washers. These are the torque washers that went on the front on the wheel itself so you just put those literally you put those on and then I can bolt it up but obviously I've, I've now got to start cutting some bloody pieces out so as these will go through so they're literally they're not just a slot they're a slot with a piece for that to go in in the front so I'll get me Dremel we've got to file got to file it I'm gonna file it <laughs> 